All right, guys, I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom, okay? I'm going to teach you how you can sell anything to anyone, okay? It's just going to take a little bit of practice. Nothing ever comes easy around here. I think you guys know that. So emotional branding, right? I have some examples here, and I got some an anecdote. So I'll share my anecdote first. So, And a lot of you guys have probably experienced this in your life before. But so... I used to sell fish, you know, when I was a commercial fisherman, we'd get the fish off the boat, I'd package it all up, and then people would be waiting on the pier. And what we were selling them a lot of the times, I'll explain this to you right now, is like an experience. It's not so much the fish, but people, they used to love to watch the ships come in, watch us offload it. There'd be a crowd of people. And, you know, because you can get this fish anywhere. And it was, you know, pretty decently priced. I will say that. We had, we had good prices. But, you know... They were coming for the experience. They're, you know, when they think of this fish, they're thinking of the emotions they felt when they went to go buy it. The same with me, right? So I consider myself a pretty good salesman. I used to like to say people could come for just a few fish and I'd have them leave in with a box, which is true, not to brag. But I'm serious about that. I'm not even kidding. So, um, <laughs> like, not, you know, I'm not like a business marketeer or anything. You know, I don't know, like, the exact science behind all this, but... I've seen it work firsthand and, you know, like I know that, so it was pretty slow. Like people would come for the fish and I'd, I'd keep them there. I'd keep them like talking and chatting a little bit. Like not because, you know, I wanted them to buy more, but because like I was wanting to like actually connect with them. Like, oh, you know, I'd see them wearing a sports team hat and I'm like, oh, you know, oh, I how they doing or whatever, you know, or I saw like veteran hat, like, oh, it's veteran too. Cool. And so, um. I just want you to think of that. If you're ever in a position to like sell somebody something, you know, you need to appeal to the person. And I have a couple brands here that do that really well. And I saw this in a reel and it made me want to make a whole video about it. So first we have Coca-Cola, right? And in this reel, the fellow was making a good point. And he said, do you, you see their product there? Like their products are there. Okay. So these people are happy, you know, and like bright colors, like they're selling happiness. And there's good product placement, of course, but like that's what Coca-Cola's brand is all about, happiness, right? The way you feel when you drink a Coke. Now we come over here, Red Bull. This was the other example in the reel. You know, sure, there's they have the Red Bull icon on things, but you don't see, you see the drink like rarely ever. Like, let's see, is there a drink anywhere? No, because they're selling you like excitement and energy. So... I like to think of myself um, in terms of like stylistically, well, not myself here. My third example here is uh, critical, Penguin's Ear. I had a long day again. That's why I'm posting late, but I am sticking to my schedule, okay? And like I said, I have 75 of these videos playing, and they are not going to make themselves. So stick around, and I'll tell you a little bit more at the end of the video. You might want to stick around for that. I have, some, I have a big announcement, okay? So check him out. You know, him, it's the opposite, sort of like, you know, there's this whole title and thumbnail thing. Like, you need to make all of your titles similar. You need to make all your thumbnails similar so that people, when they see your channel, they're going to remember it and they're going to click on your video because they remember that they liked the one before. But then, like, look, I mean, mind you, Critical is extremely established, 14 million subscribers. But, like, when you consider, like, look, none of his thumbnails look the same. And he got started, look, look at the oldest, let's see. Halo 3, Skate, Gears of War, Gears of War, Bioshock 2, Red Faction, Guerrilla. He was doing like a variety angle from the very beginning. So I don't believe the whole concept of you need to like pick, pick this lane and, you know, it's like, I mean... I'm sure there, again, there is probably some serious evidence to support the contrary to what I'm saying, but that's fine. That's not the point of this video, but you know, you get what the point I'm making here is. And then when I like, I make my own channel and I consider, where's my videos? Bear with me here. I'm almost done. Oh, it's only five minutes in. That's okay though. I make one of these every single day. So here... I considered, like, like, look, all my reels look the same. So that's good, I guess, right? 
And, uh, like, you know, some of these are different, you know, and, like, that's okay. I ha actually have this thought that if I make the background uh, dark, no one's going to click on the video. Because, like, this one has a dark background and only got nine views. So go ahead and bump that one up. It's a, it's a silly little skit. It's I actually read from a script. I was practicing reading from a script. And actually, that's why I don't read from a script anymore. It's also, it makes me feel weird, like I said last video. All right, so um, last thing I want to talk about when I consider this whole emotional branding situation is um, something you have I'm sure you've heard about before is this whole, like, color coding thing. And this is where it comes from is, like, what emotion do you want your customer to feel? It's, like, the same thing with the interior of a house, right? They say, like, you want to you don't want to paint your kitchen black or something. You know, you don't want to paint your kitchen, I don't know, like, purple. I mean, like, you could. You know, purple is a perfectly fine color. That's okay. I mean, maybe, whatever, paint your whole house purple, you know, Probably a really cool house, actually. It wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> no, it'd be ridiculous. Sorry if you have a purple house. But hey, see? I mean, like, look. Oh, I don't even barely have the image up. Oh, I hate clicking on them because I feel like I got to, like, give credit to the website and stuff, which is not terrible, but... Oh, my gosh. I should have thought this through, right? But you can see it. Uh, literally up there, that one, right there. Sorry, such low effort content I make on this channel. Just kidding. I'm trying to make quality quality stuff. And I'll explain to you why this this video might be a little sub-quality, if you ask me, only because, like I said, I have a big announcement. Something crazy happened today, and I have been chomping at the bit all day, focusing on that instead of this, which deeply upsets me because I wanted to focus specifically on this. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to continue with this concept here. I mean, I've cover I covered with what... Jeez, I can't talk. I covered what I wanted to in this video. But um, I think that, you know, obviously, I hope you don't think the title is misleading when I put it out, uh, when I say that, you know, like, this is extremely helpful because there is a lot of other things that go into selling something, right? There's, like, the cost-benefit analysis... And all that. But this specifically, I think appealing to the person, which th again, this is something I learned from getting research, like doing, I, I say research, but looking up stuff on Google and YouTube about like how do, um, it's like, do I, do I focus on appealing to the algorithm or the audience? And they say, no, you appeal to the person, the audience. Anytime you ever think of the word algorithm, replace it with audience. All right, there we go. That's a good eight minutes. All right, last two minutes. I'll explain to you what happened today. It is incredible. So I was at school, and I got a um, an email. So I had applied for a early access to a game that I was that I've really I've covered on one of my previous YouTube videos, where I said one of these games is going to blow up my YouTube channel. The game did blow up my YouTube channel a bit. Not uh, not YouTube, Twitch. Sorry, not YouTube channel. Okay, because today. For five hours, very caffeinated, I was the only English-speaking stream open. So any English speaker who wanted to watch that game be played in the, the pre-alpha test came to my stream, and I got some subscribers, I got some followers, and contrary to my last video, I think I will keep streaming, but maybe not for five hours a day, because this is sort of like a flash in the pan, I think. But um, I'm actually about to go... No, never mind. I'm not going to stream tonight. I'll stream tomorrow, though. If you're, um, I'm, I'm sorry if you're seeing this video in the far future, but if you, um, yeah, if you want to hang out tomorrow in, uh, February 2nd, 2-2, two, two, come over, hang out. But yeah, I'm just, man, I wanted to put a lot more effort into this video, and, but I, uh, I knew if I stayed up too late, it's like, it would just kind of be diminished returns after a while. But um, I'll give you a sneak peek for those of you who've actually sat long enough to hear me say that. Um, give you, I'm going to give you some of my other ideas. Steal them if you want. I'll still make a video about them. I don't care. But um, this is some of the ones you can uh, expect to see in the future, okay? What kind of people do you resonate with? Uh, seizing opportunity or biding your time. The early bird gets the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. And then, ooh, this one. This one's very specific, but things I wish I knew before I got out of the military. A little specific, but very applicable. 
in hindsight, hindsight's 2020. But all right, thanks for sticking around, guys, if you made it this far, and um, catch you in the next one.